Today, Becky at Barb and I are going to show you guys how to install the Rogue gun rack for storage of your barbells. This process would hypothetically apply to other manufacturers' gun racks as well, I suppose. And if we don't screw it up too badly, some of you may decide you want to do the same thing. Hope it's useful. This is the Rogue version 2 gun rack, which we purchased with the optional plastic inserts that you also see here. The plastic inserts are not strictly necessary, but they are nice for protecting the knurl on your bars. To attach the inserts to the gun racks, you simply use an Allen wrench, a socket wrench, and the provided hardware. And although repetitive, it's not a difficult process. If you don't have the plastic inserts for your gun rack, we'd recommend, as does Rogue, installing the gun racks a bit wider than we did here so that they support the sleeve of the bars instead of the shaft of the bars as you see in this photo. We attached our gun racks to metal studs since that's what we had to work with. So in addition to the Allen wrench, socket wrench, and some other tools that we'll cover as we move through the process, you'll also see us use several different drill bits as well as some toggle bolts. We used a stud finder to, not surprisingly, locate the studs, and also drilled a few pilot holes to make sure we'd be drilling in the correct locations. Rogue recommends using 5 16 hardware, and since we're using toggle bolts, the very large toggle wing required us to drill a 3 quarter inch hole. To make this process easier, at each of the three bolt locations, we drilled a series of successively larger holes. The bits we used were 1 eighth of an inch, 1 quarter of an inch, 3 eighths of an inch, 1 half inch, and finally the 3 quarter inch bit. And even with that last bit, we had to move that bit around a little to make sure that the hole was large enough to fit the toggle wing through the opening. Once the holes are drilled, it's still useful to press one of the toggle bolts partway through the holes to make sure that it will actually fit. If you're installing into wood studs or a concrete block wall, you'd go through a similar process, but you'd end up either using lag screws for wooden studs or concrete anchors for a block wall, and in either case, you'd only have to drill a 5 16 inch hole instead of the preposterously large holes that we drilled. Next, insert the bolts through each of the holes, and then thread the toggle wing on to each bolt before inserting the bolts into the holes in the wall. We're using a level to make sure that the gun rack is plumb, and as this is the second piece, or the right piece, of the gun rack, we're also using the level and a 2x4 to ensure that the gun rack is vertically aligned with the first piece, or the left piece, of the gun rack as well. Next, we used a driver to snug up the bolts, and then we used a socket wrench to finish tightening them by hand. You could certainly use the socket wrench for the entire process, the driver simply makes it a quicker job. Finally, load up your barbells and you're good to go. We actually installed two gun racks, one directly on top of the other as you see here, and it saves quite a bit of floor space. The only thing we'd change about the entire process is that we wish we would have done it sooner. We hope this was helpful, and if it was, please let us know. Hit the subscribe button or leave us a comment below or give us a thumbs up. We will see you next time, and as always, we hope this helps you get stronger and live better.